I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in she hey, might turn around this is 1028 awakenings and i am really excited um today a really amazing hotel um, commented under one of my photos. I took pictures at this hotel and it's just like, you know, going to hotels is something that I love to do. I love to stay at five-star hotels and I just feel like it has a lot to do with Home Alone. Uh, that is one of the movies that I did see as a kid. <clears throat> and um, also my mom just exposing us to just luxury things at a really young age. Um, but to be honest, it, they were luxury things, but also they was really just us returning home because our home is ha like half London and half Jamaica. But um, that's culturally cool, you know, uh, to be from somewhere else because you got to go home. But to, you know, American people, it's like, wow, that's cool. You're taking a trip, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, this this just little little demonstration of them saying you know Ashley you know exquisite really just made me feel really good you know I love the clothes that I wear I love the clothes I design I love the clothes that I create um and yeah it's not overly exposed and stuff like that and I don't have 50,000 likes and 100 likes and stuff but to be recognized by them and just seen by them beats any fucking anybody like in my photo like you know what i'm saying like i don't have to get the lust attention you know as long as i got the prestige attention i just feel so good about what i do i feel so good about who i portray as a woman and it just really boosted my ego it just really did and it made me feel good to be ty's mom so and they ain't even do nothing they ain't offer me nothing y'all <clears throat> i keep saying that because i just want you to know that sometimes it's just the energy that you exude um and I'm glad that, you know, they see that in me, okay? So, anyway, let's get this thing going, all right? Let's see what's going on for y'all. I'm looking for some cards. Hold on. So, today was a really good day. Uh, we're going to the tarot cards, and I really can't even stay long. Uh, what does my Scorpios need to know at this time? All three of these things okay news worth celebrating wow and that funny the one card okay so you got news coming to you whatever this is this is something that you're going to be celebrating this is going to be a great announcement um this could be at a wedding a pregnancy a graduation it's just a time for gratitude um and you're going to be hanging out with close friends and family okay so you could be doing this having a good time with the three of cups celebrating your wins okay that's a great definitely a great card to start off with okay scorpios we also have the illusion of entrapment a self a lack of self-confidence wow whoa thank god all right so scorpio whatever this is is going to boost your confidence it's gonna make you understand that what you're doing is not going unnoticed. And it may be very minute to others, but it's such a big deal to you, okay? Um, I think a lot of you guys have worked really hard at something and you feel like success could come one day, but you guys don't know that every single minute, every single day that you're putting in that energy towards that goal, it's going to come in reality, like we, that you can live in and experience, okay? Um, this one says wishes come true. Your dreams become a reality, magical time, good fortune, faith, the universe, all is well in reverse. Okay. 
So Scorpio, you also have an energy out here that is wishing on your downfall. They hate your success, okay? And this is someone who has much more than you have with these cups and wishes in reverse, but they still are very envious of you. Now, this is also somebody you could have celebrated with as the three of cups here. You could have been the third wheel, okay? You could have been the dude that was the third wheel or the girl that was the third wheel. But you are someone who is not trapped by illusions. You live your life in a very optimistic way, okay? And um, you take responsibility for your now. And that's why, you know, you celebrate. That's why you get good news. But somebody just hates your good news. They don't want to hear that shit. It pisses them the fuck off, okay? They feel like their wishes aren't coming true. Somebody just ain't happy for you. <clears throat> All right, happy marriage. This could be someone that's in a marriage, okay? All right, this also could just mean you are about to be married. If that's something that you want, it says happily married, happily ever after. But I do feel like this is already established. So I do feel like you could be getting some good news in a marriage, okay? So if you are married with this Ten of Cups, you could be receiving some good news. Your partner could not be happy about that news, okay? This also could be a family member like your sister or some outside person here. But you're somebody who doesn't lack imagination you go for what you want now you're going to be staying towards yourself or isolating yourself with the hermit here it says time spent in peaceful meditation and mindful solution i mean mindful isolation share your light and examples to others seek out to become more spiritual a mentor in self-discovery hermit mode is just isolation doing your own thing okay and this is after some kind of victory so you're going to go into like a hermit mode okay but you are changing you are going to rise out with some kind of victory whatever this victory is somebody is just not happy they feel like they're not getting a lot of victories okay they feel like they're not as talented um as you are and whoever this is they're going to stand up for something it says stand up for yourself and your beliefs have confidence challenge those in powers but choose your battles wisely so you could be standing up for what you believe in a lot of people could be coming after you okay somebody who doesn't even feel like they even are smart enough to come after you with independent this person could be very codependent this person could be very controlling over things and situations okay and all you're really trying to do is stand up for yourself and you're doing this in isolation here okay also there's a family here or a marriage here as well okay this is crazy reading. All right, bottom of the deck, what you don't see coming is a transformation. So your life is doing some significant life changes that require you to change your outlook on things, okay? Somebody's roof could be being worked on at this time as well, but this is powerful and it's really often unexpected. So your life could be shifting into another timeline very quickly and you could be like, wow, this is happening really fast, but break free of any procrastination and release any old beliefs so if you've been pushing something off tomorrow is the day no more okay get out of that shit handle that stuff fold that laundry wash those clothes organize this house make sure it's clean don't make sure you know there's not anything built up anyway um, because you're going through a transformation and it's happening right now i love you guys and i'll see y'all tomorrow bye <music>